Hello, hello. This is Victoria Wild here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. And today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Erie, one of Sedona's most secluded, private, and luxurious neighborhoods, all the way tucked out off of Dry Creek, Long Pass, Boynton Pass Road area. This is truly a spectacular neighborhood that to me features some of Sedona's finest homes. So we're going to go ahead. This is a driving tour and you're gonna jump in the car here and you're gonna to get to experience this neighborhood as if you were sitting in the seat beside me and I'll add some commentary as if we were looking at homes or property together. So let's go ahead, buckle up. Let me get us all secured here. There we go, we're locked in. What I will first point out is the beautiful entryway. To me, the area it truly exemplifies luxury living here in Sedona. Let me get, let that car go by. Um, and the minute you drive up to this beautiful entryway, you really step into another world of privacy and seclusion. So you have the red stacked stone and then the beautiful steel oxidized gate. Let me get our coat in here. And what you'll notice in this neighborhood is there's, a, there's quite a bit of space between homes. So each of the lots are anywhere from two to four acres. And you, there, there's a lot of cars right now, and it's not normally this busy. It's really just because there's some construction going on, a couple of new homes going in that are incredibly beautiful, like this one right in front of us. The neighborhood is a big loop, so we're going to start out going left onto Altair Ave and you'll just look at the look, look at this incredible home. Wow. That should be done. This is uh, being filmed December 2023 and I'm thinking that has a completion date of spring 2024. But anyways, many of the lots out here, so like I was saying, two to four acres uh, parcels and there's quite a few for sale actually so I'll kind of point those out as we go along. I'm going to turn left onto Castillo here and in front of us you have Doe Mountain so this is a fabulous really great hiking area the trailhead is just on the other side of the mountain here but you can hike up to the top and walk all around and this is one of the only spurs off of the loop that runs through the area we have another new home to the left that's been newly it's not quite finished yet it's newly constructed but some of these lots are still available, I believe, at the time of this video. And lots range anywhere from, I believe there's one listed right now for around 400000 all the way up to $1.5 million. Let me get around here. And um, it just depends on the location, on the size, and, you know, something in Sedona that you certainly pay money for that's a little intangible, I suppose you could say is are the views so if, if the lot has stellar views you're going to pay a view premium all right so before i continue down this path this is a really really good place to just sit here for a moment and take in all the views and i'm going to point some things out so this is the rim over here and this is east facing uh, at the time of this video this is actually our listing and i will link this in the comments below or the description below uh, out in the distance, that's well, well, that's courthouse, and then you have, gosh, Bell Rock right there, and I believe Cathedral out there. It's a little hazy right now, but you can see all of those. So something that's really special about the area is how high it sits up. So not only is it incredibly private and secluded, surrounded by national forest on every single side, you have good elevation out here that really lets you see for miles in every direction. So you have red rock in your face views as well as long range views. And again, this is our listing on the left, currently listed, no sign out front, but this is currently listed for $4.7 million. And there's another fabulous home ahead here that's listed, I believe for 5.2 million. And I would like to also point out the way this neighborhood is set up, so to my left, all of these lots back National Forest, and this is more of a kind of shape, what, what's the word I'm trying to say? 
this is lined by the neighborhood on either side, the lots to the right. So there is certainly a premium for lots that back to National Forest, since those do offer incredible privacy, serenity. You have, it's like you have an infinite amount of land at your fingertips where nobody can build and you get to enjoy all of that to yourself. And in front of us, that is Coxcomb. That's another hiking area and another beautiful rock formation. Um, this is just a little cut through road to the right. We're not going to take that. That's Vega Way. We're going to take the full loop around. Uh, this is our lot listing here on the left. And then that red rock formation in front of us, the big one, this is Thunder Mountain. And then there's uh, Chimney Rock and Sugarloaf in the distance. So again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, to me, the Erie really has some of the most creative and design forward homes in all of Sedona. People who decide to build out here really have a dream to create a not only a home but almost a master a masterpiece a work of art and so many of these homes do feature incredibly high-end high-end design and something we are running into at the timing of this video december 2023 with our very interesting real estate market is many of the people who bought lots in prior years um, they're actually putting those lots back on the market because the building costs have have become so extreme. Um, you know, building costs, you can build for upwards of $1,000 a square foot, depending how high end and custom you go. Um, and for many people, they're deciding to buy a home instead of build a lot because it's actually cheaper. All right, this is not where the neighborhood, this is the end of the neighborhood, but I just wanted to show this to you so you can kind of understand the lay of the land just beyond this gate. So I've actually hiked this and biked this before. There's a, there's, um, I believe this is Coxcomb trailhead that intersects this road here. And you can take, you can hop on this trail and you can go all around Coxcomb and then you can hop over here and continue the loop. And I think you'll end up at the airy trailhead. So that's a fun little, fun little hike that you have right at your doorstep. I'm going to back up, not hit anything out here. I'm not going to go in this person's driveway. I'm just going to use it as a way to get turned around. But when I turn around here, you'll see another angle of Doe Mountain and the Boynton Pass. This is all Boynton Pass area out here. So you have a lot of wonderful hiking and wildlife. You know, the people who live in the area, I, I personally would say this is one of the most private and secluded, it, it is the most private and secluded neighborhood in all of Sedona. There's nothing else out here, but you're only about 12-ish minutes, 15 minutes, depending how quick you drive, to the heart of Sedona. So you have all of the wonderful um, amenities of Sedona right at your fingertips. Um, here, to the right real quick, you'll notice this is a nice water feature that the HOA maintains. So that's part of the HOA dues and that's included and it creates a nice landscape feature for all the wildlife to come and drink. So that's really nice. And what you'll notice about all of these lots compared to some of the other neighborhoods that will, are on my channel that we tour, is all of these lots are relatively flat. They're flat and they have this beautiful grass that's currently brown right now because it's winter. It does turn green in the spring when we get some rain. Um, but you have really nice flat building sites that you can build a single level home on. You know, you don't, you're not forced to go into two stories or multi-level. And here's another one on the right. Let me just stop my car so you can see. This is another relatively new home and you'll notice the vast solar arrays out to the south of it. That, the our listing as well has a lot of green energy. So a lot of people that decide to build out here, they put in green systems, whether that's solar, geothermal, it's not a requirement. The HOA does have a communal well. So that's how the water, you get water to the property and then each property has their own septic. So let me see, what else can I tell you about this wonderful neighborhood? Um, I really think if you're interested in this area, 
you should come out and call me and we can we can take a look together because there are some wonderful lots that are available some wonderful listings available at the time of this video and you can only tell so much from the video it is truly a very special neighborhood that to me has the just incredibly unique feel uh, compared to all the other neighborhoods in Sedona. So let me go ahead and I'll park my car. Let me go out of the gate so you can see what that looks like. And there's the stack stone feature again. But the uh, location wise, <clears throat> there's great hiking. You know, there there's also enchantment in Seven Canyons. A lot of people you know, that live in these higher end luxurious neighborhoods, they'll, they'll also get memberships to Seven Canyons so you can have that social aspect. Um, but I do know that there is, it's a lovely, a lovely community out here. Uh, according to my seller who currently lives here, he loves the neighborhood, just moving on to a different, different location, different life phase. Uh, but if you have any questions about the area or anywhere else in Sedona, be sure to check out my channel, like, subscribe, and I am a local real estate agent. So if you have real estate specific questions, give me a ring or shoot me an email, victoria at sedonaluxuryhomes.com. My phone number is also down below. And I will end with this. It is currently 60 degrees in December in Sedona, and I cannot express enough how wonderful and incredible it is to live here. Um, so anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk soon.